If you haven't been watching up until now, I'm building a wood kiln with a sawmill and a shelter for my backhoe. Next, I'm going to do some backfilling and also form and pour the slab that the backhoe will park on and also support the sawmill itself. So it'll end up being a slab that'll be roughly around 10 feet wide by 50 feet long. And before I do this prep work for the slab, I'm gonna lay a French drain. You see here, it's just a four inch perforated PVC pipe. And I'm also gonna bury some lines, some four inch drain lines for the downspouts. Before laying down the fabric, I tacked on some pressure treated two by fours as, as a ledger for the rain screen that will support the siding. But I just temporarily tacked some super seal drain board. I had some scraps left over from the house build. So I used them here and just tacked them up. They work to keep an airspace between your foundation and the dirt. So that way any water that gets past it will fall straight down to the footing drain. So I've got it tacked up high, but once I got it backfilled and the soil level where I want it, then I'll trim it off at the level of the soil. And after I wrapped the drain rock like a burrito, I backfilled with some soil over the top. And the soil just helps keep any bulk water from going down into your drainage system. It's best to shed off as much water as you can just with the soil on top. So this whole building, except for the piers, holding up the pole barn side of it, but the kiln itself is sitting on five inches of foam. And once it's backfilled, it'll be about 12 to 16 inches deep below the soil line. And since we live in such a warm climate, we don't have to worry about frost heave. The camera died over here, and I got it all compacted. Next, I'll lay down a vapor barrier. So in a previous video, when I was pouring the slab for the kiln, I had set up a chimney for a rocket stove that was to be embedded in the slab but I kind of had a major fail and the chimney floated and pulled my rebar up. <laughs> uh, I was able to recover and just rip the chimney out and finish the slab without any problems beyond that, but I lost my chimney. So I'm gonna make a future video that will detail this a lot more, but just because it's kind of hard to avoid this giant pipe in this slab. I thought I'd just mention that this will be a future rocket stove. Um, I won't cover it in this video, but eventually there will be a way to heat the kiln with wood and the excess heat from the chimney will help heat up the backhoe shelter.
So I went ahead and laid down a bunch of fabric all the way around the building to hopefully keep weeds at bay for at least the start of this building's future. I imagine that eventually the forest will try to take back this area I've cleared and I'll have to do regular weeding, but hopefully this will keep it maintenance free for a little while. getting cold. Okay, so today, first thing I'm gonna do is mix up some concrete and pour it over this, the, the weaker sections of the pipe. And let that set up, get hard. It'll protect it during the main pour. And if you can see that pile of gravel back there, I'm gonna get that spread out over everything. There's one the dump truck uh, spread one layer on the road, but I want to cover everything else with that nice, you know, finer gravel. The 5 8 minus is what we call it. And I got to set up the laser so that I can, you know, once I get the rest of this pile out of the way, I think some is going to go right there. And I needed to put a little bit out. There's kind of a low spot I left in the gravel. And then the rest will just level off here and we'll s I'll shoot the laser and just see how much more gravel I have to move around or whatnot. Okay, enough yakking, start doing. Oh wait, how could I forget the best part? So I need to take my pipes here that are just down under this fabric and they need to go across the road. <laughs> Dang it. So I'll come in, I'll just pull back this gravel really, really carefully, and I'll try to lay my pipes in.
So these pipes that I threw in there, those four inch pipes, they're the thickest wall I could get. They're almost schedule 40, but not quite, but we'll see. So they're under, you know, like six inches of dirt, another six inches of gravel. Hopefully the cement truck won't crush them. <laughs> if they do, I'll be doing this again. Sledging this thing, the top sheared off, and I went right into my shin. Oh.
Okay, so there's some blue sky up there. It's good because I ordered some concrete to come today. But as you can see, I'm still not ready. So I gotta fire up the backhoe, finish getting all this gravel laid out, drop the compactor in here, compact it, throw the rebar, and throw a few more braces in down there. And then I'll be ready. But I've got a little over, th or almost four hours, about three and a half hours till concrete's supposed to come, so. Hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully I'll be able to get all this done and then take a little break. A little short. Uh, well, this must be the little break in the radar I saw. So there's like a, like an hour or two break and then we get another big downpour. So rather than deal with all the rain, I'm like trying to stretch a tarp out like that. I just went ahead and, and canceled. I rescheduled the pour for tomorrow. So that gives me time to rake out all this gravel and I'll compact it and get it looking nice. And then I'll take the rest of the day off so that tomorrow I'll be fully charged. Cause I, it took a, it took a long time to get all this rebar in place and get all the forms finished and all that stuff. Anyways, let me get this raked out and then we'll do some concrete tomorrow.
All right, so I kind of scraped up the road. The camera died. But I used the back hoe to... It's a little bit of a hump, and it was a little hard to scrape, so... I got it close enough. And then I also back dragged this a little bit. So it's a little... Save me a little work, but it's tough to back drag it nice with that back at all. <laughs> it's best just to try to lay it down as evenly as you can and then just rake it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm getting better. <laughs> all right, let me, let me finish raking this and then I'll give it a nice run over with the plate compactor. And then I'm done for the day because I am exhausted. Thank God that's over here. Oh man. Oh, it's mind numbing and rattles the crap out of you. But it looks good. Help make the gravel stay where I want it to. All right, I'm calling it for today. Except I'm gonna go to the gas station and get some diesel for the tractor. It's just about empty. <sighs> and we'll see if we can pour the cement tomorrow.
Oh, we got it up. And then the sun came out, and now it's windy. But I'd rather have it up, keep that rain off. I'm gonna bring my piece of foam, and I'm laying in there, and I'm gonna trial this edge first and work my way up. All right, it's a success. So that about wraps up the slab. So I guess it's time to order the sawmill. And it's time to take a break. We got a little rain this morning. So it's been, I don't know, three days now since we poured this. You can see it drains real nice. No, no puddles. So we did pretty good. So I ended up dropping it about three inches from front to the end and one inch from side to side. So that way, the water that ends up here ends up mostly, you know, right over there where I want it so it can just flow right out. Especially because this is all hillside here, and especially until I get the gutter, there's going to be a lot of water that would be dumped right in here. I got kind of a swale that runs basically from back there right along, and then it'll be able to run out like that. I thought about putting a drainage pipe in here, but I thought I'd also probably end up dumping some gravel here so that it's not such a step, but I mean, the step is fine, but I don't know. I kind of planned on making this a little bit of a ramp and making this swale kind of out here and then down. But yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see the, uh, in the tarp. I was trying to broom it. Pretty ugly, but uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess I won't be putting the roof on right now, so I'm gonna go over and throw some caulk on the air barrier. <laughs> I've been slowly but surely caulking it. Get it closer to done. Hello, elk. Man, there's a lot of you. Sorry to scare you. Well, we got a lot of babies this year. 